So this was my idea. It was called the chocolate box, or the strap line was eat the chocks, then the box. So I started selling more and more of this. Um, and then I ended up sending a box of these down to Waitrose head office one day. Didn't think I'd hear back. Three days later, I get a phone call from the head buyer. I go down to see them. And I'll never forget this moment for the rest of my life. I walk in, my parents walked in with me. They shook the buyer's hand and my parents walked out. The buyer looks at me and says, have they, have they forgotten something in the car? And I said, no, this is my company. And so on that day, I became Waitrose's youngest ever supplier. Um, at the time, as you saw, those boxes were not exactly shelf ready, so I had to go through a whole year of getting the packaging all ready. But I first met Waitrose at the age of 13 and became their youngest ever supplier. So I was about 14 by the time the products actually got into stores, and I had an order for 165 chocolate boxes, which I thought was massive absolutely colossal. It was only, there were only for five Waitrose stores uh, north of London. So I moved into my garage. I bought a 15 kilo chocolate machine and started furiously making chocolates. And I just about got the order completed for Waitrose. My dad and I then took a bit of a risk. Uh, we bought, well rented, one square metre at a stand in London called the International Food and Drink Expo. First time I'd ever been to London as a bit of a country boy, so we went down there. And on the second day, there's a woman kind of looking around with a clipboard, and she spots me and points and says, you're the Waitrose kid, aren't you? I said, yeah, that's, that's me. And she said, um, oh, well, I've got the headboard of Sainsbury's upstairs. Would you like to come and do a presentation? Said, yeah, sure, okay, cool. So I went up, uh, presented my products to the head board of Sainsbury's and became Sainsbury's youngest ever supplier uh, at the age of 15. And I went for three meetings before I eventually said to the buyer, look, you still haven't told me how many boxes you want. So very casually, she gets a calculator out. She says, well, I think we'll probably start you off in 350 stores. We're thinking sort of 60,000 boxes, is that okay? Yeah, sure, uh, I'll figure it out. I moved into a factory um, about four weeks later, bought two 100 kilo chocolate machines from Belgium and started producing every hour that God sent, um, literally like 17, 18 hour days and just about made the delivery. So January 2007, I delivered 165 chocolate boxes. By December of that year, I delivered 100,000 chocolate boxes to uh, Sainsbury's and Waitrose.